series has shifted to New York. A live look right here at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. The Dodgers in hostile territory for game three. And of course, because of the game is why we are on early. Welcome to the Fox 11 News. I'm Christine Devine. And I'm Alex Michelson on your World Series station, Fox 11. The boys in blue looking to capitalize on that commanding two games to none lead. Roughly 80% of teams with that lead go on to win it all. Batting practice is currently underway right now for the Dodgers. It looks like that is Max Muncy who is in the box right now getting his swing underway. Max Muncy said in pregame that Shohei Otani not only in the lineup tonight but had actually texted the team uh, on Saturday night saying I'm going to be okay and I'm going to be playing on Sunday. Of course, we didn't get that news until yesterday. Now look at Freddie Freeman, the big hero of game one and game two, yeah. getting his swings on. By the way, when we say the two games to nothing lead, when the Dodgers played the Yankees back in 1981, they were down two games to nothing and then they won the next four games uh, to win the series. So the team can still come back to win from that. How great to see the success there of Freddie Freeman. And Yankee Stadium is one of the most expensive stadiums in baseball. We go live there now to Fox 11's Gerard Moncure, who is there at Yankee Stadium. Gerard? All right, Christine and Alex, it is really starting to feel like the fall classic. We've got mid-50s here, Yankee faithful, Philly building. We're still a couple of ways away from first pitch uh, in this all-important game three with the Dodgers leading two games tonight. Of course, the he business... Was, uh very adamant that he was going to play. I watched him take swings last night in the cage. Um, looked really good, strong. Ball was coming off the bat. So I, I think that uh, there was more uncertainty in all of our minds, but in his mind from day one, from Saturday evening, he was going to play.